Hey guys, Josh here, and in today's video, I would like to take a look at a game that I feel like has been forgotten. I feel like not enough people talk about this game, Harvest Moon, My Little Shop. So this game came out for the Wii in 2009, and it was a WiiWare game, so it was only available digitally. And obviously now in 2023, uh, you can no longer purchase this game on the Wii. And basically it was a spin-off of the Harvest Moon now called Story of Seasons series where instead of running a farm you had to run a little shop. And I've always been curious about this game, wanting to check it out because we don't have a lot of spin-offs, uh, especially recently in the Story of Seasons series. So if you did play this game in the past, let me know if you liked it or not. And there was DLC for this game, but I just have the base game right now, so let's start a new save file. And the first thing you get to choose is your character, so you can play either as a boy or as a girl, which was not always an option in 2009, so it's good to see that it was an option with this game. Then you choose your name, and let's get started. And I honestly don't know too much about this game, I know there's gonna be some mini games. Uh, it was a day that began like any other and it seems like there's gonna be somewhat of a story but when Josh came home there was nobody there there was a letter that had been left on the table Josh began to read it Josh your mom and I are leaving on a trip for work some old ruins have been found and we're going to lead the excavation since we won't be coming home for a bit we're sending you to stay with your grandparents sorry that this is so sudden but be good and help your grandparents with whatever they need, dad. Hi Josh, you be good, mommy loves you, kisses, xoxo, I'll see you soon, love mom. Alright, mom's letter is <laughs> so much shorter than dad's letter, but alright, let's start. Josh's parents are archaeologists, so they often fly around the world to study historical ruins and relics. Ooh, I'm wondering if my parents are Carter and Flora from A Wonderful Life. Because of that, Josh wasn't really surprised. Josh packed for the trip and departed for Clovertown. Clovertown is where Josh's grandma's old store is. Alright, let's go to Clovertown. And right away, graphically, this reminds me so much of Worth Life, which released, I think, last year uh, on the Switch. And it was also produced by Yoshifumi Hashimoto, who produced this game, as well as all of the Rune Factory games and other, like, Story of Seasons slash Harvest Moon games. And... Yeah, the kind of 2D, papery uh, styles just <laughs> look so similar to that. So anyway, just reminds me of that game. So you can move by pointing at the screen. And okay, so everything is locked. So let's try to go down here. And by the way, this music is from Harvest Moon 64. I think this is the Flower Bud Village music. So it's nice to see some, to hear some uh, returning music. And I think we're gonna see some returning characters as well. Josh, it's so good to see you. My, my, you've grown so much. I can't believe you're already big enough to travel out here all by yourself. Time really does fly, doesn't it? I know you might feel a bit homesick for a little while, being away from home and all, but you can relax here. This is a very nice town. Your grandpa is over by the farm. Why don't you go and say hello to him? All right, so here's our farm. I don't recognize this music, so I don't know if it's new or from a different game I'm not familiar with. Hello Josh, I'm glad to see you here. Gosh, you've grown big. I can't believe my daughter would leave such an adorable child all alone. She's always busy with her archaeology work. Anyway, welcome. You'll be living in this house here, Josh. It's a bit far from our house, though that's the only drawback. However, it's quite spacious, so that should help you getting settled here. I'd like it if you'd help some with the chores at the farm while you're here. Do you think you can go to the seed shop and buy some seeds for me? Here's some money for the seeds. Sure, so I'm gonna have my own house. That's cool. The seed shop is in town. My name is Rebecca. Nice to meet you. Feel free to come by our shop at any time. All right, let's go in. Good tomato seeds, good turnip seeds, and good carrot seeds. So I don't know if there are different, like, quality levels for the crops. Um, anyway, let's buy some good tomato seeds for now. Because that's all I can buy. I'm done shopping and let's go back to the farm. You got the seeds, good job. Now I want you to sow the seeds, then water the crops. So in order to plant seeds, you just go on the field, sow seeds, and then you select the tomato seeds. Oh, that's so cute. So the character plants them automatically and then you select them again 
water crops. You know what? This reminds me so much of Worth Life, not only graphically now, but with also the gameplay. I was very similar in Worth Life. You had these little plots, and you just selected the plots, and then you selected the action. And I don't know, it just felt so similar to this. So I guess they took a lot of inspiration from this game to make Worth Life. So that's pretty interesting. Uh, here's the barn, so I guess we'll have some animals a bit later, but uh, nothing for now. Oh, quick note, time moves at the same pace in the game as it does in real life, so there is some kind of like Animal Crossing um, vibes here where you do have to wait real-time days uh, to progress in the game. The tomatoes you just planted will not grow until the day has elapsed in real life. Normally you would save and exit the game at this point, and when you started the game the next day, your tomatoes would be fully grown. However, today's your lucky day, so we won't have to wait. How do I actually harvest my tomatoes? I'm not sure. But let's go see our grandma at the store. I see you have some beautiful crops. They should be great for making juice. You should make some using the juicer in the shop. Depending on how you use the juicer, juice can come out either smooth or thick. Try it yourself. Making your own juice feels quite rewarding. Everything's ready. Go inside the shop. So now we're gonna open the juice bar. Would you like to open the juice bar? Yes. If you can learn to use the juicer well, you'll be able to make delicious juice. One pureed juice with tomato. Start. Start making juice. Yes, let's do this. I'm excited. Ooh, this feels like our Mario Party kind of little mini game. Uh, point and shoot the ingredients you need with the Wii Remote. Be careful of fake ingredients. So just aim and oh, this is the fake one. Okay, so you just shoot at the tomatoes. This is so fun. This is so cute. Up, I got five tomatoes. I think that's all I needed. I've had nine seconds left. So that was pretty easy, but I'm sure it will get more challenging once you have more crops and more stuff. And next I need to make puree. Hold the Wii remote sideways and move it up and down to make the juice. Remember to make it according to the customer's order. So you just shake. Oh my gosh, you gotta shake fast. And then, <laughs> I don't know why this is making me laugh, but yeah, so you just gotta do that for a while. This is this is taking some time. And then, yeah, you just gotta do this and make some puree. <laughs> I haven't played a game like this. I miss the Wii era where you had to like shake controllers and do like all of those gimmicky things. All right, so here it is. We've got our puree. Yay, done. Looks like a delicious tomato juice. This is amazing. I think it's even better than anything I could make. Yay, yay. All right, 99 points. Quick draw bonus, juice master bonus. Oh, I didn't get the juice master bonus. Um, high score, all right. Seems like I did pretty good. Call the next customer. Let's take a break, close the store. Yes, let's close the store. And I made 295G today, so I'll be able to buy more seeds. Uh, you did great, maybe you were meant to run a shop. Yes. Oh, Takakura. Hello, nice to see you. Hello, Mr. Takakura. Uh, I, is this the shop? Yes, it is. Uh, are you really going to close? What? There's nothing we can do. I'm not going to be able to continue running it. Why did you make me work if there's <laughs> if you're gonna close it? It makes me sad, but that's how life is sometimes. The town just can't support this shop any longer. There's no point in keeping a shop open when it doesn't have any customers. All right, I'll start preparations for the demolition soon. All right, no, you must be tired. You can pick up where you left off tomorrow. You should go to sleep in your bed. Point at your bed and press A, blah, 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 blah. How did your juice making go? Let me give you some tips about maintaining your crops. Once a crop is harvested, it will continue to grow back. Don't forget to water crops though. Uh, you have to water crops once a day or they will dry out. One more thing, you can use this hoe to clear the field if you want to plant a different crop. Yeah, so uh, pretty much uh, your crops will grow automatically as long as you water them. Um, so you don't have to plant them a second time uh, unless you decide to clear the field. So, yeah, I'm gonna go to bed for now. So, let's see if there is something at my desk. There is a calendar. Uh, oh, we start the game on the 17th of April. And there's no way to see the other months, so 
that's interesting. All right, so it's now the next day, and I just realized that the calendar is actually the real, <laughs> the real calendar. So it's gonna follow the days in real life or the days on your system, so you can fast travel, kind of like an animal crossing as well. Uh, you hear a loud sound and your grandpa's voice coming from the coop. Uh, you head over to the coop. Let's go. Oh no, grandpa, what happened? I've done it. It looks like grandpa hurt himself. Grandma quickly calls Dr. Trent for help. It looks like you threw your back out. It's not severe though. You'll be fine. So is Dr. Trent the doctor from Mineral Town? He looks very similar, so maybe that's his name. Um, if you played Mineral Town, you know that the doctor was just called Doctor. He didn't have a name. So maybe we solved the mystery. Uh, or maybe it's a different guy completely. I have no idea, but they do look pretty similar. You just need to get some rest. Make sure you don't do any work in the meantime and stay in bed. What? I, I can't work? Work would worsen your injury. Think about your age. Are you calling me old? Anyway, I don't want to rest. You two agree, don't you? Ouch, 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 ouch. You need to get some rest, dear, just like the doctor said. Thank you for coming, doctor. I hope you feel better soon. Maybe I am getting old. I wasn't working that hard at all. Maybe it's time to just give up and sell our farm. He's so down on himself, he does love to work. He was really looking forward to working with you, Josh. Uh, I'm not the only one. Your grandma was busy cleaning the shop before you came. She wanted to make juice and ice cream with you, Josh. Yes, I was. Oh, what? <laughs> you want to work at the farm and the store? Yes, yes. Uh, impossible, I can't even walk around properly. And I have to do chores as well as take care of your grandpa. Wait, you mean that you want to do it all by yourself? Yes, yes. Ah, uh, that's crazy talk. Maybe you can help out, but you can't do everything by yourself. Yes, that would be an awful lot of work. I won't allow it. I know you want to help, but it's too much work for you. Hmm. Well, maybe it's worth a shot. Excuse me? You've changed your mind already? Well... Uh, I just think that Josh deserves a chance, at least. I can't support this. Doing everything by yourself could be dangerous, Josh. Oh, if we keep an eye on Josh, I'm sure it will be fine. I mean, we can still give advice, right? Oh dear, it looks like I have two children to <laughs> look after now. Well, alright, I suppose you can do this until the shop gets torn down. I'll help as much as I can. Great, I'll help you out too, Josh, and... Ouch. You heard the doctor, dear. You need to get some rest. Now get to bed. All right. Sheesh, you don't have to get so angry. All right. This is so exciting. We get to run a farm and a shop. I feel like I've always wanted a Story of Seasons game where you can run a shop. So they need to bring this back. The shop shop feature. All right. Let's plant some stuff. In the, actually, I don't have any more seeds. So let's go buy more seeds. And so I'm gonna buy some carrot seeds as well as some turnip seeds. Why not? We'll have a little bit of everything. All right, let's go check the tool shop. See if there's anything interesting we can buy. I think it's gonna be this one right here. So there's a silver watering can. Only need to water crops every other day. So that's gonna be useful since this game is in real time. And a brush to pet cows, but I don't have enough money to buy any tools right now. All right, so let's go plant the new seeds we just bought. So let's do the carrots and they take two days to grow. So let's plant them. So while they're growing, I think I can still open the shop and just sell, keep selling the tomato juice. So let's go in, juice bar, open. I can't wait to see what you'll make for me one puree juice with tomatoes, so it seems like we have the same... The only customer we have right now is our grandma. So it's the same minigame, so we just aim at the tomatoes. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna have to get more ingredients if I wanna make different things. Got a little bit more points than last time, so I guess I'm getting better. Good afternoon! So here we've got Thomas coming back from Harvest Moon 64, back to nature, mineral town. I just wanted to tell you how much I like your shop. I think it's fantastic. Furthermore, I think it would be quite a hit with folks from other towns. I'll see what I can do to get the word out about your establishment. Just make sure to keep your customers coming back for more. Well, it's time for me to head back to my own town. 
However, you should expect to see customers from other towns starting tomorrow. How exciting is that? So before we uh, go to tomorrow, I want to check the animal shop. I think I have enough money now to buy a chicken. Yes, we do. So I'm gonna buy chicken. You got a bird, I see. Now we can open up an egg decoration stand. At the egg decoration stand, you can sell colorful eggs. You have to listen closely to what the customer is ordering from you. Making an egg into art is up to your talent. Good luck. I wonder if I need to take care of my chickens. Oh, there it is. Uh, give food. Oh, this is so cute. <laughs> so I don't think you have to buy the food for the chicken. It's just... Uh, you have it automatically. She's so happy. Show her you love her. Alright, so it's now the next day. And I just realized that I forgot to water my tomatoes. So hopefully they come back to life. It looks like they're wilting a little bit. So... Oh yeah, okay. So if you forget to water crops just one day, they wilt. So <laughs> you gotta be very careful unless you have like a better watering can that allows you to skip a day. So for now, I'm going to plant uh, the turnips in there. So no more tomato juice until I have at least another field for that. So I don't have anything to make juice, but I wonder if I can still maybe sell some eggs. Uh, I guess so egg decoration stand. Let's open this up and let's check out that new mini game. What should I get? A normal egg painted red and pink. All right, let's do some painting. This is so cute. <laughs> this game is adorable. Keep your eye on the bird that is going to lay an egg. Okay, so it's the one on the left. Oh my gosh. I think, okay, I think I know where it is. I think it's in the middle right now. If I'm not wrong, choose the bird. I think it's this one. Did I pick the, yay. Good job, Josh, good job. And then you paint it, so she said red and pink, right? Yes, and you can paint whatever you want, so let's do, let's do like a little flower. Oh my gosh, this is so big. I thought I would be able to like, do like a, a proper like drawing, but I guess it's just so big that you just, it's, anyway. Okay, let's do something like this. It's not the greatest looking egg. Oh, and then you can put some stickers, putting some stickers on eggs. Uh, let's put a little heart, oops, right here, oops, four left, oh my gosh, you can put, so oh, I have time, you gotta do it fast, okay, let's do something like this, is that good, you guys like my egg, uh, and then you can put some decoration, let's put a little ribbon, up. Like, oops, like this, done, oh my, <laughs> yay, here's my egg, this is not too bad, but I can feel like it could get tedious very quickly if you're doing this minigame over and over again. Um, yeah, this is great. I'll take good care of this. So I got 1,800 points. Also, you can decorate your store, kind of like uh, when you decorate the eggs. You can put some stickers. Um, it's kind of hard to make something that looks good, though. But for example, you can put stickers like this. Um, maybe you'll unlock more later on. There's a sign that you can install. You can make your own design on the sign. I feel like this game has lots of cool ideas, but the execution, like, it's kind of hard just to, like, make something that looks good. For some reason, I can't even erase everything. Oh, it just erased just now. Yeah, it's kind of hard. But let's try to just write shop. Okay, Let, let's say it, let's pretend it says shop. And yeah, and you can also upgrade. Uh, I don't think I have any upgrades. Let's check out the carpenter actually. And right now I'm seeing a lot of returning characters. So we've got Kai here. Uh, my name is Kai and I'm a winemaker. I travel sometimes in search of good grapes. You are Josh, right? What, you work at the farm and the shop at your age? That's incredible, pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you, Kai. And here we've got the witch princess from Harvest Moon DS. I'm bored, bored, bored. What do you want from me? Please come to my shop. I'm bored, bored. Okay. She's saying the same thing. Let's check out the construction shop. So you can buy different storefronts. 
and different outings so yeah all stuff to decorate your shops and also extra fields so if you want to plant different crops so that's good to know all right so it's now the next day and i've got my carrots ready and mary's here this is a cute star i'm looking forward to ordering something one blended juice with carrot so with this mini game, I need to kind of keep it in the middle instead of um, keeping it pureed. So you gotta have the good rhythm. So those mini games are kind of cute. They're fun, but they do get pretty repetitive. And I feel like for each customer, I'm not making that much money. So it takes a while to... Um, get money to buy upgrades and stuff like that all right so i saved a little bit of money and now i'm gonna buy a cow and let's see the cow minigame i think it's gonna be an ice cream stand so let's see how it goes oh you got a cow now we can open up an ice cream stand ice cream is fun to make but it's hard to master it's important to get as much ice cream on the cone as you can good balance is key with a little practice i'm sure you'll get the hang of it so let's check that out all right so we've got kai as our first ice cream customer let's start oh. <laughs> is that gonna be like a rhythm game watch the cows rhythm carefully remember it's notes then copy them when it's your turn so you gotta press either a b or shake the wiimote a b a Okay, let's A, B, A. Okay, so that was pretty simple. Pretty good, I think. A, 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 shake. Okay, let's try that. A, A, A. Oops, oops, no, <laughs> completely wrong. I like how all of the mini games are completely different though, uh, from each other. A, B, A, B. And I think this is going to be the last one. B, A, A, B, A. B, A, A. Oops, nope. <laughs> Completely wrong again. I need a little bit more practice for this one. Uh, I feel like it's definitely trickier than the previous minigames. So hopefully I'm going to make more money with the ice cream than with the juice. Since it's more difficult. And next, remaining milk. Uh, what do I need to do? Uh, hold the Wii Remote upright and move it in a circle so that the ice cream makes the right shape. So rotate. Oh, slower. Okay, so we just rotate. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you can see it's definitely not a good shape right now. And you gotta tilt to make sure it doesn't... Oh, make sure it stays upright. Nope. Okay, this is fun. This is kind of weird, but <laughs> it's kind of fun though. Okay. Okay, for how long do I have to do this? I feel like this is never ending. I'm not too sure if I'm doing something wrong. Uh, definitely the shape of my ice cream is not helping me. But... Oh, okay. Oh, okay, I just had to wait a little bit. Okay. Alright. This was really tricky, but I somehow managed to do it. So, Kai, I hope you like your ice cream. I've always been impressed by people working at ice cream shops. It looks so hard to like make it, make it the nice shape. Not bad. Oh, thank you. Nope. <laughs> yeah, it was not the best. So let's see how many points. 1,200. That's not very good. Uh, I think that's going to be it. Let's see how much money I make with that. 125. It's still pretty good money considering how badly I did. Uh, but you know what guys, I think that's gonna be pretty much it for my first look at Harvest Moon, my little shop. Here are my thoughts on this game so far. It's definitely unique and kind of interesting, however, it does get tedious pretty quickly. First of all, you gotta play every day, make sure you water your crops, and if you miss a day, your crops will die. So it's the kind of game that you have to play a little bit every day, which can be a good thing depending on what you're looking for. 
but also the mini games tend to be kind of tedious. So if you want to make a lot of money and you want to serve like five or 10 customers in a row to make enough money to like buy a cow or buy some tool upgrades or something, you're going to be doing the same thing over and over again. Uh, I like the music. I like to hear music returning from previous games. I love to see characters returning from previous games. Uh, I feel like they need to do that in more modern Story of Seasons games. I want to see returning characters, returning music. The graphics are really cute as well. It reminds me of Worth Life. And I do have a review of Worth Life. Uh, if you're interested, please check that out. If you want a game that has kind of a similar vibe to this one, it is a pretty basic game. It had some good ideas, but it does get pretty repetitive. Are we missing out by not having this game on the Switch in 2023? Not really, but I would love to see other kind of spin-offs similar to this one. Uh, it would be nice to see. But yeah, that's gonna be pretty much it for me, guys. Let me know what you think of Harvest Moon, my little shop. Let me know if you've played it or not. And yeah, leave a like and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this. And I'll see you all in the next video.